Yo, what's going on guys? Chris Bonner here, Power Training TV. Um, got a great exercise for you today when it comes to starting off on the 40. Um, I made a video a couple weeks ago about shin angle. Like I said, I don't get too much into you know where your feet placement are and everything like that. I have my own cues, so does the coach that you're probably reading up on or working with. So follow that, but I will tell you a couple things that are physics based that will give you a better mechanical advantage. So, like I said, we try to draw that front, uh, that front shin angle of the power leg close as we can to the ground to mimic the horizontal drive we want as we're shooting out in our acceleration phase of the 40 yard dash, which we talked about was the first part of your 40 yard dash. Um, when I get them to drop that shin angle and drop that knee, a lot of times what I see though is we sacrifice the punching of the knee. What ends up happening is they shoot out, but they drag that front leg. So what I want them to do is, I'll show you a quick exercise here that I have and that we actually use here to implement when you start seeing them not being able to pick up their knee. So all I basically do is, I take a simple bag, you guys can use whatever you want. Um, I think that you can use dumbbells, you can use anything that's basically, this is a little high. I say give yourself about um, four to five to six inches off the ground. And all we're gonna ask them to do is pretend like there's a line right here and they're gonna start with their 40. You're gonna ask them to get in the same 40 stance, pop out as they are. And now all they're gonna need to do is drive that knee down, drive this toe, or drive this nose towards that knee. And then when they start their 40, they have to go over this. So basically you're creating a barrier so there is no possible way that they can drag that foot. I need them to punch that knee as hard as they can firing the hip flexor. So all you need to have them do is put a barrier right here and I guarantee they're gonna get over that really quick. So it's just gonna look basically when you come up, boom, and then they're firing up and then through. Give this a shot with your guys, have them practice on the shin angle and have them practice on the barrier after you get down the shin angle and I guarantee you're going to see improvement in the 10 yard dash. Check it out and I'll talk to you next time.